Yakuza is a series most known for its weird side content. In fact, it's arguable that one of the biggest factors to Yakuza finally taking off in the West was thanks to people posting events from Yakuza 0 sub stories out of context. To the point an official survey Sega put out listed a particularly infamous sequence involving a chicken as a reason why people bought the game. However, this wasn't always the case. In fact, there's actually one sub story that, for a variety of reasons, the West never saw. This being the Yakuza 3 substory, Great Genius Showdown. Now, I figured I should start by explaining what the substory actually is. The Great Genius Showdown is one of the series' minigame substories, these being substories that require you to be a certain computer player in a specific minigame. They're pretty common in the series, in fact, Yakuza 3 even has a few, such as the Hustler's Experience for Pool and Death Bowler for Bowling. Great Genius Showdown is connected to the minigame Answer X Answer, a real life Sega arcade quiz game which included online capabilities abilities to play against people all over Japan, these cabinets being found in the club Sega arcades frequent in the Yakuza series, the machines themselves having 7 different modes and claim to have around 50,000 questions. Now from here you may be wondering, why did a simple game of trivia end up being the only substory to never see the West? Well to answer that, let's start with why it was cut in the original PS3 release. Now, Yakuza 3's original PS3 release is rather infamous for its cut content in the Western release. To get more specific, when compared to the original Japanese release, it's missing the Hostess Clubs and Hostess Maker, 22 sub-stories, 4 mini-games, and good box art. The minigames cut were Shogi, Mahjong, Aroma Massage, and, for our purposes, Answer X Answer. Now, the reason Sega gave out the time for all this content being cut was because of them not resonating with Westerners, though everyone was able to immediately see through this and realise the real answer was they didn't have enough time to translate everything. However, the answer Sega gave is the most likely reason as to why Answer X Answer was cut, since according to people who have played the game, you would have needed a pretty strong understanding of Japanese culture and history to stand a chance of getting any of the questions right. Add on how much work would have gone into translating all 50,000 plus questions, and given they are apparently didn't have enough time to translate Mahjong, there's no way Answer X Answer would have been translated in time. After Sega received backlash for the insane amount of cuts made to Yakuza 3, they promised to do better with Yakuza 4, which managed to keep everything for the international release, except Answer X Answer, most likely due to the issue of no one outside Japan standing a remote chance at the game. It's now 9 years later. Yakuza 3 is receiving a remaster for the PS4, with Sega also promising to bring back all the content that was removed in the PS3 release, and they stick to it. Kiryu can now go to and manage girls at hostess clubs, get massages, and even remembered how to play Mahjong and Shogi. On top of that, 21 of the cut sub-stories were reinstated, albeit 3 of the sub-stories from the PS3 release got cut due to the inclusion of a transphobic stereotype that RGG didn't feel comfortable keeping in the game. Now, if you were paying attention, you may remember that I said 22 sub-stories were cut, but only 21 were reinstated. That's because Answer X Answer not only remained untranslated, but it was completely removed in the remaster, not even returning in the Japanese release. The reason for this being cut has never been officially stated by Sega, but it's believed to be due to some of the questions potentially being outdated, in the sense of answers potentially being wrong due to new information, or the questions being about topics that are no longer relevant. In other terms, stuff that was common knowledge in 2009 isn't common knowledge in 2018. Thanks to these circumstances, it's left Answer X Answer and its substory, Great Genius Showdown, remaining as the only side content from Yakuza to be unavailable in the West, obviously excluding the very spin-off games that were never localised in the first place. And honestly, I kind of like it that way. It gives what would otherwise be one of the many forgettable and generic sub-stories a unique level of mystique, thanks to it not only being Japan only, but on top of that exclusive to the original Japanese release of the game. And with Ishin finally seeing life outside Japan thanks to the remake, maybe we'll eventually see the day when Answer X Answer remains the only thing about the series to stay Japan only. 